Okay, you need to have a SD card which is 8 gigabyte or bigger. This is a different PC running Windows and uh, running a partition manager. And basically, I want to delete the part partition on the SD card so that it uh, doesn't have any partition. It usually comes formatted with the FAT32, but uh, I'm deleting it so you will have no partition. Putting it in a different machine which is running Lubuntu, which is a Dragon OS, which has a lot of uh, ham applications. And uh, I'm downloading the X6100 image. Ambient image and zero point zero point four alpha and it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna skip it. Okay, stop recording. After it's, it's done, I uh, extract the file, so it's going to be a .img file. I'm going to also skip this so that uh, you don't have to be waiting for a long time. After it's done, CD downloads. That's where the file is, and the command is that just copy and uh, paste it. So status equal progress means it shows uh, what what it's uh, the DD command is doing. Otherwise. You won't know what's happening. So I'm going to skip that too. It's about 3.4 gig, I guess. So what was it? Uh, so Technically, yeah, I think you could use 4 gig SD, but uh, uh, I think it's for the safe side, it's I uh, use 8 gig. And uh, uh, 
going back and forth. So it's done. And uh, I would like to amount this SD card. So on the Linux, there's a way to unmount by right clicking on the no, it's a file manager kind of thing, so uh, I guess it's called file manager anyway. So we go to file manager and uh, right click, uh, it's hard to see, but if you right click on it's this amount and uh, then copy the second command which is dd also but uh, it's a uh, uboot sd card dot bin it's the second file which was cre created when you extract the file the downloaded file so and uh, Then you remove the SD card from the Linux machine. I put it, the SD card in the SD slot of the X6100. I have a USB-C hub and uh, make sure the I mean the uh, SD card goes in the right way which I guess the golden uh, the, which one it, uh, ex uh, what do you call it the gold part goes f f in front and uh, it doesn't go the other way so so you turn on the X6100 and uh, it's about now you press the second button and uh, it shows uh, command scrolling this Linux uh, Uh, my camera doesn't focus, so uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't want to retake it, so. Come on. It's not the fastest machine, I guess, but. Uh. Okay, here you go, the loading screen comes up. So I have a portable USB wireless keyboard and a trackpad combination. So the username, I mean, is root. And uh, password is no secret, it's one, two, three, four. No. Oh. Enter and uh, so the Linux desktop comes up uh, with a K 
execute uh, picture of mouse and uh, yeah, it looks familiar if you are familiar with uh, Linux for anything but on the left top side is uh, a menu to select applications configurations on the right hand, top right hand side is uh, wireless and uh, charging and stuff like that it, uh, so it is uh, really a Linux machine running Linux OS running on the ham radio and I just run WSJTX and uh, obviously have to configure it and uh, right now I don't particularly know how to actually do QSO but uh, I'll figure out if you know how please comment right now I'm setting up the Wi-Fi which uh, you can see and uh, I'll skip the detail but you get the idea and so it's connected and uh, so I'll try to I mean so to in order to see what IP address it got I run a IP add command which will show the IP address that uh, the X6100 got so based on that I will VNC to it so I run real VNC viewer on my Windows machine the IP is uh, in this particular one dot hundred but obviously uh, yours will be different so I had some problem I guess I had to log out from the radio I tried to log in but VNC doesn't work so I realized I have to log out from the radio log in So I'm d right now I'm doing the logout from the radio. Okay. Once again, login with VNC. Login screen, root, one, two, three, four. Waiting, and it shows exactly how it was in the radio but uh, so it's file manager and uh, I'm trying to run uh, familiar ham help apps like uh, it's FL rig uh, I don't know how to configure yet and uh, also <coughs> 
So it's FLDG. Uh, I don't know how to configure either. It's not the quickest, but It's JS8 call. Also, I don't know how to configure, but uh, the thing is, the radio app is actually running in the background. So, once you figure out how to communicate with the radio, I guess it's a, a local host uh, by a network. And, uh, Yeah, I don't know which uh, audio to use yet, so I'll figure out, and uh, let me know if you know it. Okay, it's a uh, terminal. So that's about it. Uh, so it's fun radio, and... Uh, I'm planning to make some more video and uh, I f when I figure out how to actually run WSJTX uh, to do QSO. Yeah. So thank you for watching and uh, that's it. Uh, uh, give me a like or if you like it uh, please subscribe to my video uh, channel thank you for watching bye